Hello YouTubers and welcome to Music for the Masses. I've got a good one for you today. Uh, I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I'm doing pretty darn good I gotta say and I hope the same for you guys. So um, like I said I've got a great video for you so if you haven't already please like and subscribe. Also what are you guys listening to this week? I've been listening to an oldies playlist on my Apple subscription but also I have been listening to this little guy right here and this is my son's band No Way Out and uh, they just they put out a little record here and it's got uh, six six songs on it it's a hardcore band so guys if you're not uh, into hardcore then this may not be for you but if you like hardcore, this is just a great band. I'm not just saying that because it's my son. Maybe just a little bit, but no, it's a really good band. And I, I kind of picked up on hardcore uh, through him uh, throughout the years, uh, taking him to go to see uh, bands like uh, Bleeding Through, uh, Sinai Beach. Um, anyhow, bands like that when he was younger. And, you know, because he listened to it, you know, it was in the house. So anyhow... And now he has his own hardcore band. Uh, it's called No Way Out, Better You Than Me. And uh, the tracks are Better You Than Me, Frailty, Penalty, Falling Man, Crosses, and Violator. It's on Triple B Records. Um, just, just a very cool cover. And it's on um, a uh, red vinyl. So pretty awesome. Let's get into it. So today... I'm going to show you guys this pair of speakers. I picked up this Yamaha pair of speakers for five bucks at a yard sale. And man, these things were thrashed. Uh, but the speakers themselves were in good shape and the, the grills were in great shape. Just very dirty. The cabinets were just thrashed. So I'm going to re uh, try to take a shot at refurbishing these things. And uh, at the end, we can take a look and you guys tell me how I did. Let's get into it. So first, I took a little bit of hot water and some soap and washed down the grills. Next, I dried them off and set them out to dry. Next up on the cabinets, a little bit of soap and water to get them nice and cleaned before I take them down to garage uh, for paint prep. Okay, so let's get started. First, here's everything we're gonna need, I think. We have the uh, newspaper to mask off when we're ready, sandpaper, this block of wood, masking tape, a spatula, and some wood filler. So let's get going. You guys are probably wondering about the block of wood, but it's for, uh, this is pretty rough right here. So I wanna make sure that when I put the, the, uh, the wood filler in there, it's uh, spread nice and straight and it, it's just not sloppy. Okay, let's get started. So you're probably wondering why I had the wood block and now you're gonna find out. So this corner is pretty beat up. So I wanted to be able to make it like as close to the actual uh, regular piece of uh, wood that's there. And then when I get to the outside, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it like that. So let's see how that works. I mean, I just came up with that idea and um, let's fill it in. So I'm sure this is going to take a, uh, a few times, but because we're going to have to let it dry, I don't expect to get it perfect the first time. Let me know what you guys think of that idea, though. That was pretty, uh, pretty clever. Now 
And I'm not trying to make it too smooth um, because I want it to kind of match the wood. So let's see how that works. Well, it kind of works, but um yeah it did work okay i guess but the problem is it, it sticks to the wood but it still worked out pretty good i think i think what i'm gonna do is this Okay, let's let it dry and we'll come back and do it again. So while we're waiting for this putty to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and give this speaker right here a quick sanding because uh, eventually we're gonna uh, repaint these. And I think on these speakers, I'm going to, uh, I'm not gonna get too detailed. I just wanna make, see how quickly and most inexpensive um, I can turn these around but um, I'm thinking about doing a satin finish on these rather than a flat uh, depending on how, that, how good the cabinets come out because you know obviously um, the shinier the finish the, the more imperfections it shows so let's go Okay, so I've got these patched pretty good, so I'm just going to sand them down a little more. Keep in mind, if, if I had spent more money on these, I'd, I'd probably take more time. Um, but I am going to try to do the best that I can on them. So let's get the sanding done and then masking off. Okay, so we're all uh, nice and cleaned. Now the next thing we're going to do is uh, get these things masked off and uh, paint them. So I'm not going to paint the front. Also, I, I, I had to do a flat finish because I couldn't find a satin. Everybody was out of it. So I'm just going to mask off um, the front. And then we'll paint the, the back and the top sides and bottom and see how they look. Okay, we got the the uh, the faces all masked off. We masked off the back. So we're gonna apply this coat of a, a couple of coats of uh, flat finish and see how they look. Okay guys, so here are the speakers. Uh, I think they look pretty good. For what I spent, I believe I spent uh, $7 uh, for the, uh, the wood putty, the plastic wood putty, and also uh, the can of spray paint, which um, I really wish I would have been able to find the satin finish, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So anyhow, but uh, let's take a look at these guys. I think they turned out pretty good. So basically, let's call it uh, 13 bucks. We'll round it up $13 for a pair of Yamaha speakers that sound pretty darn good. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Drop it in the comments. Be nice if you want. And um, how do I always leave you guys? Take care. God bless you.